Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Uh, we're moving into Unit 2 in the Touchstones book, which is about respect. Unit 1 was all about trust. We discovered that trust is a cornerstone in any viable relationship between people, uh, especially where one party may be receiving services or goods or something from someone else. You need that trust there. And respect between people is equally as important is you're going to learn that trust and respect go hand in hand. When we show people trust, we're showing respect for them as well as human beings. So today we're going to read story five in the Touchstone series where the theme is what we admire. The passage is from something called the Analects and it is by the Chinese philosopher Confucius. He lived back in the 500s BC. In his work, Confucius emphasized personal and government morality as well as correctness of social relationships, justness, kindness, and sincerity. In this passage I'm going to read, Confucius talks about being superior. Now the definition of being superior is being one that stands higher in rank, status, equality, or just being better than someone else. We may have a negative connotation when thinking of the word superior as someone who thinks they're better, but this is not Confucius' goal. He is just trying to describe someone who is the best person possible. As I read this today, I want you to think about the nine character traits that Confucius talks about and what you think. So get ready for the story. The Analects by Confucius. There are nine things that are of the greatest importance to superior people. In regard to the use of sight, they want to see clearly. In regard to the use of hearing, they want to hear distinctly. In regard to how they appear to others, they want to be seen as harmless. In regard to their speech, they want to be heard as sincere. In regard to how they conduct business, they want it to be prudent and well-managed. In regard to what they have doubts about, they wish to question others. When they are angry, they think about the difficulties their anger may cause. When they see opportunity and possibility for gain, they think of how to proceed with honesty and virtue. Okay, so here are some questions I'd like you to think about from that passage. Are these characteristics you admire? Why? Are these characteristics you would want in our leaders? Why? How does reading this help us to understand our relationship to other people? How does mutual respect help build a community? Why is it hard to imagine being like the person Confucius describes? And can you imagine a society whose members all possessed these characteristics? Here's another thing I want you to think about in connection with this whole idea of what we admire. Think about a person that you admire. You don't have to write this person down, but think of somebody who you do respect and admire. And then answer these questions. List three or more characteristics that you respect or admire in this person. Then imagine that a family in your neighborhood loses their home in a fire. What do you think the person you admire would do to help that family? What would you do to help the family? You can feel free to answer these questions in any way possible. Google Doc, Google Slides, you can make a video, or you can go ahead and talk about them in person. We will have our weekly Friday Zoom uh, on Friday at 11 a.m. The link will be here. Um, we can discuss the story, talk about anything else you might like to talk about, and this week I'm going to have a game for you guys. So hope you'll join us Friday at 11. Have a good week.